So knight c4, Peter felt that it was, we couldn't calculate everything, but it was very loose. Yeah, him. knight c4 looks, I mean, knight e5 already I thought was a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, what should we do? I mean, maybe like queen c6 or something. That was also first line of commute then. But, okay, it's a little bit unpleasant, I understand, because you're not getting rid of the knight immediately. Like, if you try knight e7, knight e6, it's still not going away. And sometimes, there's some endings which are also unpleasant for black light. I think there was... No, queen e5 is met by queen d7. I think there was like queen... No, not queen c5. I can't quite remember, but I saw some ending where... Um, where black plays queen c6, take, take, and my king's on g2, and I play king f3 to e4, and it looks very pleasant. Because my king and my knight are both better placed. Although I, I can't even remember how I get, get there. But this already I felt was wrong. But here I think f6, it's a bit ugly, but uh, I can't really take knight 7 so I, I was going to play a move like b3, or uh, uh, maybe knight d4, just to stop his queen c6, d5. And then queen e4 check, b3, I mean, I'm still pressing a bit, but I, I didn't think there was anything concrete for me, it's just more pleasant. Yeah, we also thought like that maybe the time factor might be an important issue. If he only had 5 minutes and with the yeah, knight on f5 and this structure... Yeah, but here he had like 22 minutes. And ah, he, here still. Yeah, yeah, he burned, I mean I had like 18, he had 22 and he burned all his time. So I guess he, he was looking for a forced way to to make a draw and didn't find it and uh, I think that he should have just found a way to place his pieces in the best way. This I didn't even understand because if I play queen d3, I mean this loses. So he has to go back, and then, uh, or, I don't know, yeah, queen e4 or something. I, I thought you he just queen c1 go... check doesn't work? Um, I thought that I was just play king h2. Takes beat. Um, yeah, but probably works. Knight g4, knight g6. I uh -huh. king g8 also, yeah. Yeah, of course, black can, can just give the knight away. Um, yeah, maybe that was fine. But I didn't quite all understand it anyway. Maybe it's his point really to, to repeat like this. Um, but okay, Queen C, I didn't really spend yeah. time considering other things because this immediately felt both forcing and very critical. How far did you see here? Did you see? I mean, I saw basically up to like Queen B7 and it looked very dangerous for mm -hmm. Black. Um, and this is forced. Queen C2 looks very promising, but after Queen B2, it just uh, my Queen gets chased and this is a draw. So this is forced. Uh, he can he can do this, but it looks like a very bad position to me because queen d5, and this is hanging knight d3 maybe. I, I mean he's not his queen really shouldn't be on d1. It should be somewhere on c7, um, and I can just take at b6 maybe I have like um, knight e3. Yeah. It looks like uh, close to winning. So this is critical. Queen c2, and now knight d4 is a threat. So everything is forced from now on. Yeah, here I, I can go for this type of position, but um, <laughs> I didn't see how I'll ever move my pieces after this. No, we had this, no, you said draw. Yeah, I said draw, yeah. Looks like a draw, yeah. Um, so, and at first I thought it's very strange that I don't have something because I have a million checks, but I, somehow I just couldn't find a single one. Um, and okay, this is forced. Now, again, he has to save his knight somehow, so queen d1 is the only way. Queen e4. I think it's important that if he plays queen d3, queen e5 is mating. And um, so, yeah, he has to take on a4. Mm -hmm. what I mean, there's like queen d7. Queen d7 yeah. Yeah. But I thought that this is. Maybe it's the best chance, but it looked kind of. kind of risky. I, I mean, if queen e5 with f6, yeah? So, maybe I can play something. Maybe knight d3, he has to go to g8. And knight d5. Okay, it's not, not so easy yet. Queen e6, it's still a bit loose for me. So maybe this was the best way to play. But somehow I thought there should be a way to at least continue the fight. Um, maybe even like a5, I don't know. I don't sorry, a5, queen c6. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's not so easy. Um, but I, I mean, he went for this quickly. But here he's, uh, yeah, I don't see a move for him. I mean, the problem is with queen c4, I have knight e3. 
and he loses something, either f7, which will probably result in a, in a mate somehow, or the knight. We were very impressed by this sequence, the knight e3 and queen b4, because it feels so strange to move your pieces back, but then there's no defense all the same. Well, I'm just really dominating the knight, because it, it wants to kind of create some kind of counterplay. Uh, and this looks more natural, yeah. and I don't think knight d1 is possible here, but I, I just didn't quite see... Um, I mean, my knight looks more active, but I didn't see what I'm doing. And the knight on e3 is just so beautiful. It stops queen d5. It basically dominates both of, both of his piece, pieces. And yeah, he's. I mean, the only square he can go is here. But then I figured that knight d5 would be very dangerous. Um, I guess he has to go somewhere like here. It starts to look less dangerous for him. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe maybe I could play queen e4 check. And then I'll get queen e5 and mm -hmm. knight f5. So yeah, this, this also feels close to winning. This is what I expected, and now I was torn between queen b5 and queen b4, and I almost played this one. Um, but then I, I wasn't entirely sure, like here, here, here. Looks awful, but I, I didn't see a forced win. Although I assume, assume it's there. But then I saw queen b4. And After queen b4, there's no defense for it. Yeah, because, uh, I mean... If here I can give a check, and um, oh no, sorry, uh, knight a4. I just play queen d4 check, and if he goes back, knight f5. And if he goes forward, I saw some attractive moves, probably like this, or even you know, so even knight d5 looks crushing. I mean, it feels like there's already a few ways to win. Or maybe queen d6, I guess he has to go no, here. queen d6, I have queen d6. Oh, sorry, no. Yeah. Uh, no but knight d5. Knight d5. Yeah, yeah, and he can't play queen b2 because the knight is hanging. So, yeah, this is also completely winning. Um, but I, I was kind of... I mean, he can play a5, but then I thought queen d4 or also queen b6. And knight f5 is, should be winning as well. And here, I don't know why, but I got it. Like g4, he played king g8, and I started to get confused. I burned up all my time. Because <laughs> I was looking at this, knight f5, king g8, and this one looked kind of easier. I, I don't know why. Um, and yeah, and for some reason, for a long time, I mean, for like two minutes I, I spent, I was. I thought that I could play queen e5 instead of queen b7, and then I realized there's queen f2. You oh, um, had the exact same one. Yeah. <laughs> so. So that's when I, I started to get low on time, and I saw his queen f2, and then I... Um, but it was also easy, because I, I could just give a check and then think. And I also saw this queen b7 at some point, which covers everything. Um, and if king g8, I can just take the pawn first, go back, and I thought like queen 7 and king h2, and queen e5, or I probably have a bunch of this one, but queen e5 is pretty good. It's, I mean, it's also funny that uh, here my queen is protected. <laughs> but yeah, I'm mean, just over. <laughs> so, busy schedule for you? Do you regret that you played this and the US Championship now as a challenger? No, no, of course not. I mean, the tournament's going well so far, so, mm -hmm. so what's, what's there to regret? <laughs> no, I mean, if you would like to take a break and regroup <laughs> instead of... Playing. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, hopefully, I'll have a break after the U.S. Championship, um, and that'll be nice. Of course, it, I knew already when I um, when I decided on my schedule that this would be a, a very tough few months. But I mean, I, I'm kind of used to playing a lot, so. But your thinking behind it was probably if you win the candidates, everything is good anyway, right? So you you don't mind playing. Yeah, I thought if I win the candidates, I won't mind playing, and uh, if I don't win the candidates, then I'll probably want to <laughs> want to forget the tournament and. In that case, it's good to play another one. Win-win situation. How's your phone situation? I still don't have one. <laughs> wow, I respect, yeah. <laughs> ah, Peter's happy, yeah, because he's never had one. <laughs> yeah, I never had one, but now I have already, so I very much respect your decision. Oh, it's not my decision, my phone broke. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just, I, although I, I could have gotten a replacement, but I thought before the candidates, it was probably a blessing in disguise to have a, to have a phone. Your second, Rustam Kazimchanov is here. You guys are still on good terms, or after a couple of months together, like, how does this go? I'm not very good terms anymore, but yeah. <laughs> no, we've actually, we spent more time than, than this together. I think it's something we spent like 
45 days in a row together, which was rough. But, you know, <laughs> I'm used to it by now. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. Bye.